Hello everyone, hope you're all fine and you're doing great. Uh, welcome and welcome back to my kitchen by Nana. So today we are cooking cow liver and the simplest coconut rice recipe. For the liver, I'm going to be using one red onion. I'm going to use three ripe tomatoes. I'll use yellow, green and red bell peppers. And for the peppers, I'm using a quarter of each pepper one carrot finely chopped ginger garlic and of course the liver i'm using 500 grams for this recipe wash the liver properly and don't forget to remove the skin like layer on top place your pan on a source of heat and then add some oil i'm using vegetable oil to be specific and i'm going to let it heat up then i'll be adding the liver so i'm going to be frying the liver for about 10 minutes until you know it changes color give it a nice fry just stir gently and let it fry slowly you can actually have this specific liver recipe with so many different foods you can have it with plantain you can have it with sweet potatoes irish potatoes french fries but i decided to have mine with rice because i'm a rice lover <laughs> and you can purchase liver anywhere because it's really common you can get it from a meat market a supermarket or even a grocery store I'm seasoning the liver with some salt and black pepper uh, because we need our liver to be very tasty. So now I'm going to remove the liver from the pan. I'll place it aside and then I'll use the same pan for the rest of the recipe. Again, I'm using vegetable oil. It's the same thing that I'm going to be using in the whole recipe. And then I'm going to let it heat up and then I'll add the onions. Onions add a spicy, peppery flavor to soups and curries. Uh, that is why I used one large onion. You don't have to be mean with your onion just use the onions to have very nice soup add the ginger and garlic when the onions start changing color i just chopped the ginger and garlic though the ginger and garlic paste would have been a preference but still we are still getting the nice aroma from the garlic add the green yellow red papers and also add the carrots and then we are going to be frying them for about two minutes it's about two minutes and now i've just added my tomatoes and we are going to fry until they are tender When tender, add one teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of paprika, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, one teaspoon of beef curry, one beef cube, and then we are going to stir gently. I'm going to include all the spices and all the ingredients that I've used in this recipe. Check them down below in the description box. And in case of any comments about this recipe, please leave them down in the comments section. I'll reply to all of them. 
Also, don't forget to subscribe to My Kitchen by Nana if you haven't yet subscribed. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to notify you whenever I upload. So I'm going to let all the spices and all the ingredients cook for about 3 minutes. I'll give them a nice tear and then let them cook together because we want to add the liver when everything is cooked. Stir or mix everything together after adding the liver. We want every piece of this liver to have a taste of at least all the spices and all the ingredients in the pan. So now I'm going to cook it for about three minutes before I add any water. I want everything to cook together. As you can see, it looks very nice. But we have to add some water because we need some some gravy, some liver gravy. Liver gravy is always tasty. It's always nice. I'm sure most of you like it. After adding the water to the liver, stir very well. And then let it cook for about 15 minutes. Because at this point, the liver is like halfway cooked so now we are going to give it another 15 minutes of cooking and during that time we are going to cook our coconut rice in a pan with some oil i've added some finely chopped onions i'm going to fry them shortly uh, because i don't want them like to overcook and then i'll be adding one cup of washed rice and i'm using basmati rice for this recipe why i washed the rice is because i wanted to reduce on the starch and to also make the rice fluffy after cooking it Add some salt to the rice. It is one cup of rice, so I've used about one teaspoon of salt. Stir very well, and then I'll be adding one cup of coconut milk. And since I used one cup of rice, I'm going to need another cup of water after adding one cup of coconut milk. You can use coconut milk throughout. But I just used one cup and for the cup of water, it isn't so full. It's like three quarters of the cup. Uh, this rice recipe that I'm sharing is very simple. Anyone can do it. Anyone can cook it. Uh, cover the rice and let it cook. It's now like 15 minutes after cooking and most of the water has dissolved. So I'm going to reduce the heat and let all the water dissolve. I'm using a fork to check and see if all the water has dissolved but uh, there is a little water left that is why a few grains are sticking on my fork so i'm going to let it dry and then i'll show you the end results after 15 minutes of letting the liver cook these are the results it looks very nice the soup oh my god looks very nice and the aroma in my kitchen is so so nice i'm going to be serving the food the liver is ready it is finely cooked so i'm having a uh, coconut rice liver green peas and then i also have some avocado to accompany my food Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to try out this recipe. Bye-bye.